Pastry, bakery, and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for bad days, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice, ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. guests, women, leaders, mothers that are also present here, ladies and gentlemen, 
And I also want to recognize the presence of the media and the police band for attending this important event, which we are launching the national polio vaccination campaign, which is scheduled to take place tomorrow, 28th to the 23rd of November, 2021. And today marks the launching of this particular important event. Uh, after giving this uh, brief uh, overview, I now invite the Deputy Mayor of KMC, uh, Madam Binta Jane, to give a statement and give us a welcome remark uh, from the KMC. All protocols duly and respectfully observed. It is, it is indeed an honor to welcome you all this morning on this auspicious occasion making the national launching of the polio vaccination campaign. We thank the Ministry for choosing KM as the host. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 33 years ago, at the 41st World Health Assembly, a promise to indicate polio in the world was made. Since that, the, since that declaration, billions of children have received the gift of a polio-free life. Statistics have shown that the world has achieved a 99.9% .9 reduction in wild polio virus transmission and elimination in five of six WHO regions. However, challenges remain to end all forms of polio. Therefore, the importance of this forthcoming campaign cannot be understated. I therefore, on behalf of my Lord Mayor, wish to thank all stakeholders especially frontline workers, working to ensure the GPEI polio education strategy, 2022 to 2026, launched in June of this year, will be so effective to end polio in the world. Having said that, I believe that we have the relevant experts to endow us more on this very critical issue. And without further ado, I wish you again, Welcome you all and hope that this national polio vaccination campaign will be a huge success across the country. I thank you all for your time. As reminded us uh, that there is a need for us to really uh, focus on this campaign to be able to ensure that each and every child is vaccinated during this polio campaign. And she has also welcomed us to KMC. We are also indeed happy to be part of this event. After being welcomed now, I now invite the WHO content representative, Dr. Desta Turini, to give a joint statement uh, by the international development partners. All protocols duly and respectfully observed. I have the honor to deliver a joint statement by the World Health Organization and the UNICEF on behalf of the entire United Nations systems and uh, the development partners. On this uh, occasion, we have come a long way in the battle against polio since the world unanimously declared to eradicate the disease from the face of the earth in 1988. A lot of progress has been made across the globe against uh, this life threatening disease. As a result, wild polio virus has been eradicated in five of the six. WHO regions. We have six regions. And this, okay, you might be asking now today, why are we here? Um, because to launch another polio campaign. Didn't Africa eradicate polio last year? Didn't we celebrate that? That's a good question. Yes, we have eradicated world polio virus from the African region. But recently, we have detected another type of polio virus in 10 environmental samples in the Gambia. I want to correct this. In the media, I have seen several reports about 10 cases. No, we have never detected human cases, so it should be clear. It's environmental samples that actually indicate that the virus is circulating in the community. Therefore, we have to immunize a high-risk group who are children under the age of five years to stop the transmission of the virus and also prevent the disease. 
As you may know, poli is a highly infectious disease caused by virus. It invades the nervous system and can cause total paralysis in a matter of hours. This virus is transmitted from person to person, mainly spread through the fecal oral route, or less frequently by common vehicles like water and food, and multiplies in the intestines of human beings. Initial symptoms are fever, tiredness, extreme tiredness, headache, vomiting, stiffness of the neck, and pain in the limbs. One in 200 infections can lead to irreversible paralysis, usually in the legs. We used to see in the past, you know, lots of people who were affected by this paralysis. As a result of the efforts that this has gone out, we don't see it anymore. And among the paralyzed ones, 5 to 10 percent die because the paralysis affects their breathing muscles, that is the chest muscles. However, with the world coming together, the wild poliovirus, which was responsible for crippling and killing our children, has been eliminated in five regions out of the six, thanks to the global public-private partnership, spearheaded by the national governments and supported by a host of organizations and institutions, including the World Health Organization, UNICEF, Rotary International, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Gavi, and the U.S. Center for Disease Prevention and Control. But the battle is not yet over. Wireless, wild poliovirus, which was responsible for crippling and killing our children, has been eliminated and eradicated in most part of the world, except one country, which is now Afghanistan. Our focus now is to hold the transmission of the current outbreak, which is the current transmission of the virus in the population by countries in communities of low immunization coverage. As a result, as the virus is spread from one vac unvaccinated child to another one over a long period of time, in a period of 12 to 18 months. This is the reason for today's launch of polio immunization campaign. As Gambia joins other countries who are having the same similar experience to contain the spread of the virus. You will agree with me that a campaign of this nature is resource and labor intensive and requires the full participation of all stakeholders, including the community. Who, WHO and UNICEF being at the center of this global partnership against polio, are fully behind the government and the people of uh, Gambia in ensuring that all children under the age of five years are protected against this debilitating virus. Who has secured about 16, more than 16 million dollars? For both rounds, this is the first round of the vaccination campaign. And, uh, and so for the second one, it has supported the training and movement of about 1,666 personnel as vaccinators, supervisors, monitors that would be deployed throughout the country to supervise and monitor the campaign. It also deployed a team of six international and nine national experts to work with the Ministry of Health on the response, as well as provide personal protection equipment, such as face masks, hand sanitizers, to all persons participating in the campaign to ensure proper infection control measures. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen,
UNICEF, on the other hand, has supported this campaign with 13.8 million dollars to support programs including advocacy and sensitization meetings. It has provided all the vaccines and logistics, aprons, carriers, vaccine carriers, posters, banners required for this campaign, including strengthening the cold chain system. It has fielded a team of four international consultants that's supporting the Ministry of Health in strengthening communication, social mobilization, and community engagement to ensure a successful campaign. It has recruited and trained 942 personnel to support social mobilization and vaccine management. On the other hand, the U.S. Center for Disease Prevention, Control and Prevention provided technical support to the Ministry of Health to strengthen the immunization surveillance system that enhanced monitoring and tracking progress towards complete elimination of poliovirus in the country. Please allow me to express my sincere and heartfelt gratitude to our long-standing global polio eradication initiative partners, particularly Rotary International, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, who provided substantial funding for the first and subsequent campaigns through UNICEF and the World Health Organization. Rotary Club of the Gambia also provided 500 t-shirts in addition to deploying volunteers throughout the country to support social mobilization and community engagement. The Gambian Red Cross Society also provided 400 personnel to support grassroots mobilization. I cannot conclude without acknowledging the immense contribution of traditional and religious leaders, civil society, the media, the private sector, parents and caregivers for the strong partnership in our drive towards poor eradication. In conclusion, let me once again thank the government, the government and the people of the Gambian Republic for the hard work in maintaining polio free status since 1986. We cherish the commitment of the government and the people of the Gambia towards the eradication of polio virus as clearly demonstrated by the presence of uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady in this very important event. I thank you for your attention. Now going to entertainment, but before I go into entertainment, I will just summarize uh, the statement by the WHO country representative in the local languages. Uh, coming from Mubra Diamolate, Awolemo Dr. Desta Turuni, Awolemo WH Jarikinda Bunda Babimbe Gambejang, Atermanya Donkoti, Atiyamuta Jarikinda Bunda Bala, Toyala, Ane UNICEF, Ane Demar Lal Mianko, Awolebe UN System, Awolebe Kafranyoma, Awolebe Diam Kumaka Oning, Awolebe Fujan Sain. Awolebe Fujan Sain, Awolebe Niaje Indalilo Mbebena Jambi, Nada fene kankula mumu pengura bi mena kuma sila gambe jang me dini wole pengula sepura bi kala wole miyango doctoro njing abekele da kono mumbo kwa doctoro fula fusaba puka jiko ke tanka ni dayenu kurama wakamala ni aji be wadi kabanto gambe jare kenda bunda sampul tanta nung kaji be ni kurama ni bete mera mendo ba inara jiko. Another suit, Daldo Mianco, Missal Fain, Savoco Dong, Jewel Mianco, and then come to Jewel Mianco, a cabin damento, Narna Kiskizoka Walto, Naranjako in Kuran Sutta Walto. But I must suit a Molbalabari, Baos, Abota Walato, Adu Franca Molebala, or Kamala Kumada Baka Pruka, Jin Kuran in Alka Kele, Pruka Nyadu Kundunde, Akana Wajabidam, Walem Bendi Jambi, and the Walatin of Fanang. Her Excellency, the First Lady, I did a young running of another program, Mabe, Kajuko Kayun Kuli, or Koyun program in Kuli, Mimba Kumas La Sama. I don't Sama Pengula, but Kadun Suor Kono, Kadinu Jibe Mianka, we send you look at our Duma, 
kadutro jinke da kono adun ka marka franke e mara ko e mara bul kan la bangoto ni misal fe fana pengula fana su kono fana ye dinu e dotro ka da kono e ngira ro fuka marka ngira ta fuka makro ka bloto ise hakulo bulan de ko marka ro nyanda kala amara bul la bangoto le pour sa makam modo fana mi na muru muru na kana jibe fo dinu le jin pengo ngi dala wala mo kuma kan be mun sutan la ko e mol fana karandi e min be jangene satal kono mun bi da tundo gambe be lon wote e mol bi da satal kono dol be tara suwal kono dol be tara le tawo fana kono e bari di da banta ba do jin jenna mo bi tara suwal kono dorong bari ko be gara solto marsa wolto ani feriol ko tambe de la mento mol timol fana be tara jilla pour ka djoko mol me ka be tama kan ko fana soto no e ngine mo la kuma kan wolti ay sutu akama moke ku joge wax ni moy sun dable cho contribution de monaka buti wa guyaram bu mag bu nek gambe fi moy dable cho mom dafa ño wax ci kadu un system ñu fi nek ba mbiri unicef ak ñu fi ño xamne ño 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 na dimbalé buti wa guyaram ah comme que luma wuk degeral moy ah pengu la pengu bo xamne mom lañ wara commencer elek te ngenté bi lañ nek tay ngenté bi na moy dafa woné nek ku nek ah pour ni ñi xam lan la ño ño def ci comme que lañu ñu def ci moy pengu bi pengu bi dafa nek lo xamne toxal la dañ ko joxalé toxal du mu ñaari ñaari toxal ba ñett toxal lañu joxalé té dañu duga ci kéri pengu kat dañu duga ci kéri joxalé ño xamne ñu ngi jëromi at bis souf képp ko xamne am nga xalé bo xamne mu ngi jëromi at bis souf da nga gis né pengu kat rek mom lañ soola su ñëwé tam pour pengu xalé tam ci kéri gi mën na am sa ñu pengu ko ñu faaté tam marqué lo xam bi ah lo xam da jor bo xamne ah lo xam da sed lo xam kam lo xam ni bu nek mu ñeul bi da ko wara marqué bu nga marqué na hen na mën nañu faaté pour marqué ko ah nga mën nga mën nga faatale ko pengu kat yi ne da ko wara marqué bu ko joxé toxal lo dafa nek lo xamne lo la mo degara té ah contant nañ tamit né bu ñu gis né ko xamne mo lé nek du toujours du support du support du dimbalé bu du wër du yaram yu jo ay bagage du yu jangal suñu digé suñu docteur du jangal suñu ñi moy kan moy ay selenci di force la di montan dafa ñop pour fekke ñent bi té moko ñëndé tamit tay bu ko ñëndé rek dafa melni suñu ñëndé bi passé té suma pengu bi dafa commencé li la mo wax ci gatal mané pour ku nek xam lu ñoo wax yalla lañ jëf ñi ngi nayu force la di ak ñi fi tom bi di ñaan yalla 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 def ci am fever bu ñuy dal ci sëré bu yenn ko yalla ta amin baye dara jaay mo
Republic in the Ligi. Ligi them, uh, see, Benin, 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 uh, group, Buludum, Buluka, Fulu, 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 Who did not understand the message is that they are trying to convey uh, they are trying to convey messages with regard to the vaccination campaign and then they are advising heads of households family members caregivers to ensure that the ch children under five years are all available when vaccination teams are in their houses and they also make sure that if children are vaccinated they also ensure that uh, the marks are on the left finger of the child is already given the mark. And if not given the mark by the vaccinators, the family members should also be able to remind the vaccinators about the mark on the 
index finger of the child, on the left hand side of the child. So this is what the message they have been trying to convey. And they are also trying to convey the importance of this vaccination program and calling for the participation of each and everyone, wherever you are, to ensure that your child is vaccinated. In summary, this is the message that they are trying to convey. I now invite uh, Madam Bigeso, Madam Bigeso, to give a statement. It's a mother um, and child pair to be vaccinated. They are, she's somebody whose child is to be vaccinated. <laughs> Njeri ni pengubi da fa am solo lol ci suñu xalé yi nota ku ni nga fuñu pengo war nga mëna dem jël toxal bi parce que da fa am solo lol ci xalé ñaarel bi kenn ñaanul yaala jur sa do pengu bi ray ko parce que ñaaka jël pengu mën na ray xalé ñaaka jël pengu bi mën na la fañ yo xalé ak yenen ak yenen mu nako def ci yaramam kon ken ñaanul yaala lolu kon fo len multikay dega to xara kat ya ngay wor suñu duggul ci keri sa war ngeena mu na feke gaay jokko sen dom yi amna solo lol man de fuma ko dega dama jël suñu wakel ci atuma ki suma dom la wala ki du suma do ñep lay bub yobu puisque am solo bim am solo ci yaram ma nge ñaan na kon suma mbokki jigen yep fo len dega to xal bi jël len sen dom wala su ñëwé ci kër yi ngeen jël xalé yépp parce qu'amna ya yo xamné dañ dé dem massé duñ fa dé néka wa yo mi nga xamné yaay néka ci kër bi su ñëwé di toxal rek bo len jobo ci yépp ñu am toxal bi ba paré ngeen mixo ñu marqué sen loxoy pour su ñëné ñëwé xamné ñi amon nañ toxal bi man na contana trop pour taxaw fi néka force ñi boka ci toxal bi contana ci trop wa fi la su way Uh, she's just trying to re-emphasize the message that have uh, been delivered here to ensure that uh, all children are vaccinated during the vaccination program, uh, campaign. Uh, she's Madame Bigesso, and she's also going, the child is also going to be vaccinated today. And she's happy that the child is going to be vaccinated, and she's urging other uh, mothers to ensure that their children are vaccinated against uh, polio. Uh, I now invite Dr. Mustafa Bitei, the Director of Health Services, to give a statement on behalf of the Honorable Minister, Dr. Mite, you're welcome. I'm standing here on behalf of the Minister of Health, um, Dr. Ahmadu Lamin Samate, who is unavoidably absent. So we are gathered here today to mark the official launch of the novel oral polio vaccine type 2 in response to the polio virus outbreak in our country that was declared on the 18th of August, 2021, by the Honorable Minister himself. The Gambia government, under the able leadership of His Excellency, Mr. Adam Abaro, has demonstrated high political commitment towards the global polio eradication initiative. The Ministry of Health, through the expanded program on immunization, have been achieving high immunization, immunization coverage since its inception in 1979. Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me seize this opportunity to remind you that the last laboratory confirmed case of paralytic polio in the country was for 1986. The Gambia was accorded polio-free status since 2004 by the WHO, and in 2020, the whole African region was declared wild polio-free. This has been made possible by maintaining high routine of immunization coverage, uh, robust surveillance system, and implementation of several rounds of supplementary immunization activities over the past two decades. The detection of the polio virus in the environment in June this year uh, poses a serious threat to our achievements and more so our vulnerable children. Therefore, vaccinating them with additional two doses of NOPV2 will boost their immunity and protect them against the virus. Any child who is between zero and 59 months who fail to receive this new type of polio vaccine is at high risk of getting the disease. 
currently 27 countries in our sub-region are experiencing outbreak of the disease in the human population and many children are being paralyzed. We do not want this to happen to any child in this country. The country is targeting to vaccinate 382,908 children in this group. The first round of the vaccination campaign will last for four days, starting from the 20th to the 30th of November, 2021. Vaccination teams will be visiting every house in the country. They will be visiting schools, markets, garages, crossing points, and playgrounds to vaccinate all eligible children. I will hope that with the presence of the First Lady here, we will use that to implore on all parents and caregivers to get their children vaccinated and support the vaccination teams when they visit your houses and compounds. In conclusion, Your Excellency, we would like to thank and encourage the noble health workers to continue their hard work in the fight against polio and many other diseases, especially COVID-19. To the parents, we thank you for your patronage and please continue to utilize the routine immunization services uh, for the well-being of our future leaders, the children. It is only through that, that these types of responses that we can prevent our children from being infected with many child killer diseases, including polio disease, and further control the spread of this polio virus in our country and sub-region as a whole. Therefore, every Gambian citizen, parent, caregiver, or teacher has a moral responsibility to ensure that children under their custody are vaccinated during these four days protect them from this dangerous disease. I wish to thank our development partners, such as the WHO, UNICEF, Gavi, Rotary International, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and uh, GPEI partners for all the support they have been rendering to the Gambia for the protection of our children. We recognize and salute the magnanimity you all demonstrated in this humanitarian endeavor. God bless you all. God bless the Gambia. Thank you for your kind attention. I read in the statement of the Honorable Minister. Uh, before we go into the next uh, agenda, which is the vote of thanks, Ma, with your permission, I want to invite two or three musicians to give um, at least to show us what, what message they have. I now invite Kadi Suso. Kadi Suso, Enanang, Enakibaro, Fanam, 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 Ah, 
Sungari, Sungari, minute fula. Salongo, mulu salongo, dini wale wanda sama alifaluti. Adun sama alifala kuo, amani na doyala. Hadi lo kungo ni adun daro ni wara malamu ni mese mata kuta boka malalo. Kuto dini wope kila mentu soma mo malo. Dini wole kake baya. Kana fela no stala. Kana fela jada kende abundala. Kana fela karamo abundala. Kana fela iru abundala. Alhamdulillah kero kumanso jabarola. We want to say a big thank you to the First Lady, the Ministry of Health and all other organs under the Ministry in the organizing committee for their dedication, hard work and commitment and so that these day become a successful um, launching. I want to say a special thank you to the Director of Health Promotion, Mr. Jai, and all of the directors for their hard work, for their support. I mean, it has been tough, but alhamdulillah, we are here having a very successful day. So on that note, I want to thank each and everyone present here for taking time and coming to grace this wonderful occasion. I say thank you all. Can you kindly entertain Her Excellency the First Lady before she comes in? Police band. Uh, 
uh, for supporting the health sector, as highlighted before by Dr. Gude. Uh, she has been the champion of the Tory health sector. Anywhere, anytime we call her, she's always available. She has been involved in building the capacities of healthcare workers in the various disciplines, ranging from the clinicians, doctors, in various specialized programs in India, in Turkey, and other countries outside the world. All is just to ensure that the capacities of the health sectors, especially the staff, are strengthened, and as well as the necessary equipment and materials are also available, which is always supporting the health sector in this endeavor. She's also involved in our campaigns. Uh, anytime you call her to come and inaugurate or uh, grace an occasion with regards to a national campaign, especially with HIV and AIDS, with other health events, she's always taking the lead in that particular process. We want to thank you very much, Your Excellency, for supporting the health sector since we started the journey together. And we are going to continue to get it together to ensure that we reach out to each and every individual in the health sector and to make sure that our health system is strengthened and definitely we need your support in this particular area. On that note, I want to take this opportunity to invite Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia, Madam Fatima Barbaro, to give her statement. It is a great pleasure that I join you today to officially launch the 2021 oral polio vaccination campaign against polio in the Gambia. The gathering today marks yet another positive step in the polio outbreak response activities. As you may be aware, the Honorable Minister of Health declared an outbreak of polio in the country on the 18th of August, 2021. After months of preparations, we are here finally to launch the national polio vaccination campaign as part of our resolve to protect all children in the Gambia against polio diseases. Countrywide, vaccination coverage is the surest way to guaranteeing protection against the polio virus. Therefore, the National Immunization Days against polio will be held from the 20th to the 23rd of November 2021. The vaccination exercise is targeting all children below five years of age across the country. During this period, vaccination teams and social mobilizers will be going around house to house and will also be present present at all public places such as schools, markets, ferry crossing points, health centers, and other strategic locations to deliver the oral polio vaccine. A total of 382,908 children are targeted during this polio vaccination round. Ladies and gentlemen, previous vaccine polio vaccination campaigns have been successful and I believe that this one will equally do well and even better in this particular campaign. I therefore encourage all parents and caregivers that their children are vaccinated to enable us to put a stop to the circulation of the virus among the population. Once completed successfully, another vaccination round will be conducted next year, 2022, to ensure that the children in the country are fully protected against polio. Ladies and gentlemen, additional vaccination rounds are a necessity as a lot of efforts have been made globally to fight against polio. In 1988, the Global Polio Eradication Initiative was launched to guide global efforts to eradicate polio. Since then, the annual global polio rate has re decreased by more than 99%. Where the national level is concerned, the Gambia has last detected a polio case in 1986 and was accorded a polio-free state in 20, 2004 until August this year. Over the years, 
the country have achieved and maintained high polio vaccination coverage in its commitment to the global polio eradication goal. The country conducted 27 high quality supplementary immunization activities from 1997 to 2014 to boost immunization against polio. These activities were carried out along with a strong watch system to detect the polio virus when it is circulating. Ladies and gentlemen, polio is a highly contagious virus disease that can be spread rapidly from one person to another through contact and it is capable of causing permanent paralysis. In, in part of this called polio, it's therefore very severe that drastic life changing effects, effects that can also hinder a child education. Vaccination, children, vaccinating children with the oral polio vaccine have been proven as a global safe and effective strategy to break the chain of transmission of various of the virus among the population and enhance population immunization. Remembering, remember, immunization sa saves lives and for this reason, the Gambian government under the leadership of my husband, His Excellency Adama Baro, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, remain committed to us eradicating polio as envisaged by the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to seize this opportunity to thank all health workers, parents and caregivers for their selfless dedication and commitment in serving and protecting our vulnerable children. The national achievements attained against vaccination preventable diseases have uh, equally been made possible by the dynamic and devoted health workers that we have across the country and the faith of the community members in our society. Furthermore, I wish to thank our parents, the WHO, Gavi, Rotary International, and CDC for all their continuous support that have been rendering to the Gambia, to the Gambia for the uh, protection of our children. I wish to assure all parties of my continuous commitment to the cause of the advancement of maternal and child health throughout the country. My office open to any collaboration for the welfare of the children and, and to keep the Gambians polio free. Most importantly, I would also like to implore on all communities, parents, child caregivers to fully cooperate and work with the health personnel during the campaign and to continue utilizing the immunization services for the health and well-being of our future leaders. It is important to take note that this is our collective responsibility to ensure that all our children are vaccinated in order to crop the outbreak and eradicate polio in the Gambia once again. Together, we have been able to defeat many vaccine preventable diseases and we hope that achievement, the achievement made will be upheld. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a role to play in making the Gambia polio free once again. On that note, I now wish to launch the National Polio Vaccination Campaign. I thank you all for your kind attention. We have WHO, Dr. Dr. Manjang. The two doctors, you can follow the other Manjang. We all need to watch him.
Yo, ngat transfer lah tu. Ya transfer lah. Ha, kod ni je. Okay. Bersama. Insya Allah ini sorang. Ha, sorang. Sorry. Agak tak? Bijan bro. Alba. Alba. Barat Allah sabi sorang karya. Ha, bukan. Barat mukti jangan nunggu nunggu barat karya. Ha, jangan nunggu yang nak forest de biru. Gambia tungkon nak nunggu barat ya biru. Ha, biru kau yang nak fokato. Barat si kodok kino kato ni fobolong blabe. Fifty-six branches more so the Gambia ja. Huh? Ka. Gambia kono ani Gambia banta la bankol. Unka kono kia bere. Hmm. Kono sifa sifa fo falindi ro fo nyadi na ta meme na kodi to koto ni kodi mara. Jamu number one tinyonda. Anu mfana nata another enterprise is sotale. Bolo bolo mnyindi ko. Domoro mfana ko mfana be fira le le daddy man. Domoro mfana bete at. Gambia dau da ya longa kumva kendo sotale di. Ha, e wamu e wadi at. Ha, apelenda. Ni wamu kani na left ani ya lang kendo le bina. Ya le buka ni lakuo la. Ha 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 ha. Ya londel chosa no lo. Abarka. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.